welcome to our latest episode of Tweedle TV. We are here today at West London Shooting School and we are here because Lee Monk, who is the winner to my left, uh, won a fantastic prize uh, which was a Parazzi MXS, uh, a set of pillar eyewear and a day with George Digweed himself um, with two, two of his friends. So we're here today just to uh, have that lesson. George, good. Uh, very enjoyable. We started an hour ago um, I've completely destroyed them and they're now on their way home <laughs> wishing they never met me or certainly won the prize uh, no we've had a we've had a lovely start um, it's a beautiful day here lovely facility and um, I hope you're enjoying it I'm enjoying it it's nice to try different techniques as well fantastic yeah, nice to have an insight into something different yeah well look we've got a we've got a multitude of stands to choose from we'll uh, we'll carry on and see how we're getting on brilliant Cool. What you're doing, and, and you've always done it, you'll have always done it, guarantee you in your club shoots, wait for it to get to the top and stop. Yeah. I want you to shoot this under power. As it's on the way up. Oh. See the difference with gun speed, how it breaks. Yeah. Shot them, gun out your shoulder, gun down with a moving gun like that before. Possibly not, no. <laughs> You've seen what it's done. Yeah. It was an awful shot. It's the worst shot you've made today. Really so pleasing. We are here today, as I said, um, West London right. shooting school. Where should we Lee's go just now? behind me. He's brought two of his friends along for this masterclass with Let's go over and George Digweed himself. This one. We're having an absolute blast. The weather is gorgeous, and Lee won this prize along with his Parazzi and his Pillars, all for the price of a ten-pound ticket. The odds are amazing on Tweedle. We always make them good. Head over, grab a grab a ticket from any of our competitions that we've got going on at the minute. We've got some fantastic stuff in the pipeline. Stay tuned, and we'll. Uh, we are here going. with Lee, uh, who was was our winner for this fantastic prize. Um, Lee, amazing win for a ten pound ticket, mate. Oh, I, was, I was absolutely over the moon. I mean, the best thing was I literally sat on there to see when the draw was what, what, ten minutes before. Yeah. Uh, you know, number come up. What more could I say? And I say an experience coming to West London with George is just, you know, it's pretty priceless. So I'm yeah. over the moon. No, it is, and we couldn't have picked a better day for it. But perfect, absolutely perfect. Yeah. No, as Lee said, he literally bought his ticket ten minutes before we did the draw, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, all our all our tickets always stay the same amount of number. They always stay the same price. Generally a ten pound ticket, and uh, doesn't matter if you enter straight away during the competition or right at the end, you've got just as good a chance of winning and uh, that's what happened with Lee. Oh. Stop, right your gun. I mean here, we're, we're just cater up through, shoot a couple of stands on the way back up over the top, but but you've all learned as much today as you've ever learned in your lives. Don't overdo it, do you know what I mean? The more you shoot, the more you get tired, the more you then forget yeah. where you're coming from and you've learnt so I'm seriously impressed with all of you and that's not a smoke blowing session because you've grasped it's, it, it's very difficult for me because I don't want to change someone's technique and then they go really bad and then they walk away and think fuck me what did I do that for you know I've come up here and I've won this as a prize and all it's done is ruin my shooting but I think you've all taken enough or could take enough even if we stop now from this that you would turn around and say do you know what I'm going to stick with that because I think that will honestly help my shooting okay. and all three of you are exactly the same you're all now swinging the gun from an unmounted position which is a massive step and you and you stood correctly you're looking a hundred percent better already it's a massive difference and they've all won it for a £10 ticket with Tweedle, George. Have they? <laughs> How did you, what did you want me to say to that? <laughs> You're all capable. We're not going to go silly high and go off the top. But I reckon you're all now capable of killing some off the 100 foot tower. So the top is 150 foot, that's 100 foot. All right, it's a midi of a hundred foot tower. When you came and we shot up there, I didn't think we'd get to here, but I think if you're happy to do it, it's a testing target. I think you're you're all capable of shooting this, but it's whether you want to push yourselves or not.
No, it's straight over your head. That's right over your head, isn't it? That's it, that's good. So should that feet always be pointing towards your sort of kill zone? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. They want to be where you want the gun to finish and then you want to kill it just before you want to finish so that you finish your swing. Yeah. I'll see one first, please. Yeah. Oh. That was the old you. It was, yeah. It shows well, doesn't it? Oh. Oh. That's the new you. What are you eating? Nothing left. But it just shows you, doesn't it? Yeah, 100%. Oh. Right, you're tracking it just a little bit too far. You have that 15 degrees earlier, but with a slightly faster gun, there won't be anything left of them. Oh. That's perfect. Now just a touch quicker. So well, there you have it. That's the end of the session uh, for our winner and his two guests. George, they got on exceptionally, mate. They took on, took on what you had to say and they're hitting some serious targets in the end. Uh, I've got to say, gentlemen, you, you know, from my point of view, as pupils, you listened. Um, I think you've taken on board everything we had to say. Um, it's very difficult for me in one lesson to change, you know, your technique that you've shot as, as, and I'm sure you would, you would agree, club shooters type styles and techniques for a period of time. Um, but you embraced everything that I had to say and just those finite margins that we've changed have made in my view a massive difference to to your shooting I'd be very interested to hear what you think um, of how you've done through the afternoon yeah we're taking on that it's totally sort of changed things because I'm not looking for that lead I'm following it through you know, taking your advice on that so it's definitely helped Thank you. And your feet position and your body position, your body and your feet working for you rather than against you, and you having to use your arms. 100%, yeah. Massive transition to my shooting here. Feet stance, body position, just uh, make, uh, make that transition stick now. From the yeah, and it's just now you've got to your position, you, you know what you need to do, it's just working on it so it becomes muscle memory. Yeah, same for me, my feet position, just where to position my feet, and also shooting the gun, gun down. The amount of visibility you get extra makes a huge difference. Yeah. You're actually going to kill your bird. Yeah. So, for me, it's a big plus. Well, uh, it's been a pleasure for me to do it. Um, apparently, I've got to say it's all for a £10 ticket as well. <laughs> uh, no, it has been a pleasure for me to do it. And I thank Tweedle for giving me the opportunity of. Uh, putting something back into into shooting um, support it where you can <laughs>